Welcome everybody to Invisible Apartment. So this is going to be something a little bit different for uh, the Games We Play channel. This is actually a visual novel, um, but it's something that lets me, I don't know, do a little bit of like reading slash voice acting stuff. Um, it's something I've been wanting to try on the channel for a while, and this seemed like a really accessible way, accessible um, start, because it's on Steam, uh, it's free on Steam right now, and um, they're going to be, there's more of this coming, like right now this is just like a first part of it, which is like, I think about a half an hour-ish long, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, um, let's just, let's just, let's just come out here. Let's move my button. There we go. Launch. <clears throat> hmm. Not gonna, like, prepare. We find ourselves in one of the business districts of New Jessica. Business as usual. Customers are coming in during their lunch break. A well-dressed girl wearing sunglasses sits in the center of the cafe. She blends in perfectly with the crowd of office workers, with both a confident and sneaky smile on her face, she touches her coffee cup to her lips, barely reducing it by a drop. Are we in yet? She whispers to herself, barely moving her lips. We're connected, but uh, cash tech software now. Preparing to connect the, to the central authority server through the link on the tax office, says a voice coming from her smart glasses. She sits like a rock, surrounded by chatting and laughing people. It's a busy place. For a moment for a moment there, it looks as if she's really froze to a stone. Hold on. There's another user on the server. Run. Um... Ooh, I can choose. Uh, let us slowly exit the cafe through the main entrance. She takes a deep breath, slowly stands up from her table, and heads to the exit. What are you doing? Run away. Shut up. Her voice... <laughs> wow, whoops. <laughs> at her way out, she m manages to smile at the waiter. He smiles back. She exits the cafe and slowly walks down the street. At first glance, it might appear as if she's forgot to breathe, or maybe she's holding her breath. In the distance, we see, a, we see men in dark uniforms enter the cafe where she sat just a moment ago. She turns left at a corner. It seems as if she's walking faster, then even faster. And then she's running, look at her go! At the park. Are you safe now? Don't kill yourself. Meet Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Sorry, it's... We have a... Uh, uh, sorry. Oops, wrong voice there. <laughs> sorry. We have a lot of data, though. <clears throat> it better be worth it. Bunny just attempted to break into the servers of the Central Authority through hacking a POS, point of sale, a cache desk, so desk software, which by default is permanently connected to the Central Authority's tax bureau as a way to prevent merchants from committing tax fraud. This is New Jessica, a free trade zone created around the central city of Old Jessica and the Central Authority. It's a buffer zone built to elevate trade with the outside world, and at the same time, preserve the culture of Jessica. This is the high-tech capital of a new generation, a generation set to reach out to the stars. And we sip coffee. Let's, I can sip. Mm. <sighs> okay, I've got tea, not coffee, but you get, well, you know, it's, it's you know, relevant. Oh, the that must be the voice. Oh, now I'm cutting my hair. This is like a preview, and I'm gonna do a little Don Blanc <clears throat> mask. I've gone through the logs from earlier. They are very interesting. I just confirmed it. It wasn't. I wasn't alone on the Central Authority server. Correct. Is that how I've been found out? Was it an admin? Negative. The person you were stumbled upon on the server was indeed the reason why you were found out, but in a different way than you think. Go on. The alarm was triggered because of the second person, but they followed your connection for some reason. There is no information on if and how the central authority proceeded with the other person. He or she disconnected before the tracking started. We are the only ones who have a record of that connection of the other person before they cleaned up and disconnected. Another hacker, you say? Can can this be a coincidence? 
<clears throat> there is a chance of over a million to one that you would stumble upon another hacker on the same system. Then an alarm would be triggered and the central authority would be after you, and not them at the exact same time. Someone wanted me to get caught? Or did someone just reach out? Did they want to make a point? What? <laughs> was, was this just a sick prank? <clears throat> there is no way of answering that at this moment. I need different colored text, I think, for the different voices. <laughs> this is confusing me. Is someone else just playing around on the servers in the central authority? Is someone mad or just too good? Um, do we do we have data enough to track down the connection? We have enough to get to get to the first proxy through which the other hacker connected, but a remote connection is not possible. No. This this is going to take some time. Get prepared. I we're going to find the next access point and pro to the proxy through which the other hacker connected. We're getting very. This feels like a translation, like there's very specific English in here. It's not very conversational. <clears throat> the city's just huge. What are you saying? You know it well. There, this is where you grew up. Oh, on the contrary. The suburbs where I grew up are, of course, different from the center. For 18 years, I dreamt of escaping the dull life I lived. Well... Congratulations. Did you also dream of being homeless? Well, <laughs> did you also dream of being a fuck up? Did you locate the source already? I'm narrowing it down. Please remain in your current perimeter. I have marked on the map. Um, okay. Reverse mapping check. Get dirt info. Sooner or later, I'll smash into something just looking at the map in my glasses. Yep, gonna follow my nose. Bunny follows the mask, the mask's lead for hours. They search the proxies through which the connection was established one by one. I got it. Uh huh? Uh, elaborate. It's strange, though. I seem to lose the track in this location. How, how large is the area? Six blocks. That can be anything. A, a hacked POS, router, an apartment's AI. G give me a list of all the systems you find in the perimeter. I, I have to go through it manually. Seriously? That's thousands of connected systems. Match all devices with their geolocation and get me the city's residential database, please. Bunny goes through the huge list of all the devices connected to the network that the mask could find in the area where they lost track of their connection. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh. 2,500. 2,502, eh? I must be dehydrated. <laughs> I cannot really say that I know how that feels. Oh, was the, um... Mask? Just like a computer guy? Hmm. Should I have made like a more computery voice for him? Are all the perimeters required to have a network connection? You already know the answer. They do according to the city regulations. Well, I've, I've been matching the list to, of connected systems you gave me and, uh, with the addresses. And I noticed something. There's, Do all apartments have an entry in the city's database? Again, according to city regulations. Okay, okay. Anyway, you either didn't give me the whole database, or there is one address missing. How could that... How could you know that there is an address missing? I don't. I just went through five... <laughs> I just went through 2,500 addresses, matching them to the connected systems you gave me, and I noticed the inconsistency. The database you gave me seems to skip one entry, and I see one connected device, a residential terminal without any address assigned to it. An AI, like me, cannot make this kind of speculative deductions. Okay, so he's an AI. Alright, so I need, I need a better AI voice for him. 
Um, what would be a better idea? No, I think that'd be fine. We could do. I'll just do it like a little bit more deepy gaudy. <laughs> Let's check out the apartment 2500 and 2502 and see if we can find the connected device without an address near them. Soon they arrive at the apartment number 2501, conveniently in between those two numbers listed. Hello, dear traveler. This is house 2501. Um, no, that's horrible. <laughs> this is house 2501. It's uncommon to meet someone out here in the emptiness. Um, emptiness? House? Uh... You are an apartment in the 42nd floor of a high-rise building in a busy part of New Jessica. Your voice comes from the emptiness that surrounds me. How did you find your way in the dark? Um, uh, it's already hacked badly. Yes. The AI is messed up. I, a mentally ill AI that should guard this place. Can, can you get us in? I already have. Open the door. How did you... The AI is easy to hack using a direct connection. Its intelligence is almost wiped out. That is the trade-off of hacking it. So, now we're invisible to the outside? Bunny lays down on the couch in the middle of the room. She's exhausted from the search. Bink, bink, bink. Oh, suddenly very stuffy. Hmm, nice couch. You should not fall asleep here. Are you listening? Hey. She falls asleep. <laughs> da, 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 dreaming. When she wakes up, it's already evening and nothing's changed. She's lying on the couch in the middle of an apartment, which, according to any record, doesn't exist. Although, it might be a concern for someone to stay at a place they broke into. Bunny is calm. She realizes that this place is not on the radar of the city's officials, so she doesn't expect them here. Oh, I'm awake. Ooh, does this place even have an owner? According to the records, there is one owning, there is no one owning this apartment. I know, I know, I, I mean the person who went through the trouble to make this place invisible. Um... Well... Backtrack the connection through the apartment's AI first thing in the morning. Run the apartment's preparation. <sighs> oh, sorry. Run the preparations. Uh, we'll get the geo-tracking again. I walk to the edge. A step here, a step there. I make a decision not to step into the abyss. If I step off the edge, I will I drop like a rock, or will this word forget the forgo its laws and I will fly like a bird. Wishful thinking. The only thing that excites me while I balance is that I myself make the decision to stay alive each and every moment. No one can take this away from me. No one can influence me at this very moment. I go to the rooftop and walk onto the edge to experience the freedom of choice. If I decide to make a step into the thin air and end it all, then it was the most certainly my, and only my decision, however foolish it might have been. <clears throat> Here we go. Now, do we have a lead? As usual, I can backtrack the connection to the next proxy. To the next proxy? I, I wonder how long they will continue like this until we hit a dead end. You are being pessimistic today. This is not like you. I've... I've been thinking it's... We might have a better chance to, of meeting the hacker who's behind this if we just stay in the hacked apartment. That's quite dangerous. One, On one hand, the hacker might indeed want to use the apartment as a safe house at some point. On the other hand, it might be found by the authorities the same way we found it. I know, I just... It's a double-edged sword. If the authorities come marching in, we'll just pretend we're squatters who don't know anything. I mean, the door was open. No. The authorities are one thing, but you cannot predict the reactions of a person who is using the apartment as a proxy. You are on someone's turf. Although, 
You may have a romantic image of the other hacker. He might not be a giggly teen like you. Hey, I'm not giggly. Oh, shut up. Go to hell. Yeah, son of a bitch. Stupid AI. Huh. You think you are. Hell is a human con construct. Should I stop the search? Oh, no. Did I ever tell you how much I like your smart mask? <laughs> stop being such a smart mask. I shall continue tracing the route of the connection. Please follow the map. Oh, by the way. Yeah? You will not wipe out my memory if the Central Authority found you, right? I thought you had an escape plan. Wouldn't you upload yourself or something somewhere? Please promise... Wait. For the... Uh, please promise you wait for the upload to finish. <laughs> I promise. This is quite important to you, isn't it? Is the difference between living and dying not important to humans? Sorry, that's your... You're one of the awakened AIs, after all. This is it. The hospital? You're sure we're at the right place? 99.7839% sure. Well, that's, that's better than me. Uh, even when I am confident. Interesting. It's a sleeper. Sleepers are people who are ill, but there isn't a cure for them at the present time. They are held in an artificial coma and their bodies in hibernation in what is called a sleeper cell. So, the connection came from a sleeper cell's computer? Now that we know that this is the next proxy, what will you do? Pretend to be a nurse. I, I've got no clue, but we need to connect to it. Just a moment. I'll go through its terminal settings and, and try accessing the hospital's network. Bunny looks around and approaches the cell's terminal. We might set off an alarm. I, I'm prepared. Then she hears something. She takes a step back from the terminal, looks around, but doesn't see anyone. Hacker, hack the sleeper's terminal as fast as you can, leave now. Um, let's go as fast as we can. This needs to be fast. <clears throat> as Bunny connects to the sleeper's cell terminal, the person inside the sleeper cell twitches. Uh oh. Um, not good. Uh oh, there's a person. Uh oh. Um, scream and shout. Ah, someone help! You want to get caught so badly? I wanted to talk to you myself, but now you just listen. You alerted securities. What? Uh oh, oh, my glasses! Oh, I gotta restart. <laughs> That's it, really? <laughs> All right, um, quick save. I have no idea if that's quick saved or not. I'm still gonna hack the terminal sleep. I think that's still a good thing. All right, here we go. This needs to be fast. As Buddy connects to the sleeper cell, the cell terminal, mm -hmm. the person inside the sleeper cell twitches. Oh, not good. That's okay. And this time we'll just try, try to break from it. Let, let me go. Let go. You know, without clothes, I'm all ugly. I look like a boy. I agree. Shut up. <laughs> As if that's why I'm holding you. What? Nah. Tell me why you were hacking the sleeper cell terminal. Um, tell the guy the dead people floating in a tank shouldn't concern him. Tell him that you work here. Um, well, obviously I don't work here, so... That's, not, that's none of your business. Besides, why why do you care about dead people floating in tanks? They're not dead. Are you crazy? An alarm goes off. I guess I shouldn't have yelled at you. Like that. I wanted to talk to you alone, but now the alarm went off. Security will be in here in a moment now. No, let me go! So that you can hack sleeper cell terminals and harm someone inside. Dream on. I'll wait until security comes and then I'll hand you over to them. No. Oh. Oh no, security. Security. Oh, okay, quick load. Alright. Menu. Load. 
game. So apparently we just need to walk away. <laughs> is the answer. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. I should have created the save point a little bit closer to... Okay, menu. Leave for now. Wait. I feel like I'm being watched. Why so sudden? I do not understand these mood swings. I have intuition. Better than software. I have a bad feeling. Let's return later. She leaves the room and walks past a man who's about to enter the room. Then she speeds up. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, the man's following. Ding, ding, ding. So. So. You're everything but ordinary. Oh, yeah. yeah that's right. Is there something you don't hack? Um. The man grabs Casey and pushes her into the apartment. I thought her name was Bunny. I should probably get the, like, there's, I think there's some earlier ones you can pay for. I think I could have done that. You're a hacker. Um. Should have saved. I can't quick save. Uh, let's play dumb. Uh, uh, I don't know. She stops for a second as if someone splashed her face in cold water. I need to be sure. Go away. Leave me alone. Not until you tell me what you've been doing at the sleep cells. But leave. <clears throat> Explosive will detonate in five, four, three. No, don't blow my head off. Idiot. Oh, um, I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> Actually, yes, yes I am. Don't, uh, don't hurt me, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right. Why the one cell? Leave. Just let me go, you stupid idiot. I'll, I'll kick you if you keep touching me. Ooh. I don't want to hurt you, okay? I'm a, I'm a friend. Sure you are. Honey, honey, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you a kiss afterwards. Let me go. The, the sleeper cell. You were at. Just, what, what is your name? Alex. Alex, let me go, and I... And then go to hell, okay? Right. You don't seem to understand. I I won't let you go until you tell me why you were at that one cell. Bunny starts crying. I, I'm a friend, okay? Ha. You're, you're a hacker, right? Ha. What? Hagger? A hacker, too. I'm no idiot. Bunny stops struggling. I... I'm not here to hurt you. I just, I just want to talk and I, and know what's going on. I, I just want to know the truth. Why are you trying to get into the Central Authority service so badly? Central Authority? No, no one's hacking up to get into their servers. I'm, just, yeah, I mean, you're crazy, girl. You just, mm, you just, I don't, you nuts. Even if I theoretically would. So, up. Quiet now. I, even if I theoretically was my goal, how could you possibly know about it unless you were working for them? I mean, what? How do you even know about this place? What? What do you know about this apartment? You hacked it, and now, well, hmm, <clears throat> you hacked it, and now it's not visible in the city's database. If it's a black hole. What, what are you saying? You, you think I did this? Do not trust him. I don't. But pe keep quiet for a minute. Um, I didn't do this. I couldn't have. I, Even if I knew how to do such a thing, it's just... I, even if I knew how to do something, even if I knew how to do such a thing, then all my problems would have disappeared a long time ago. I have no way of trusting you. What if you're someone who set this place up, huh? Well, then... Then this might be a honeypot. Did you ever... Did that ever cross your mind? Um... You want to get caught. I don't want to get caught. I... Of course I don't want to get, I, go to jail, but... I, I... I also need some answers. What... What are the questions? Truth's expensive. 
She speaks in a calm voice. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm tracking a connection, a hacker. The, the trace of the connection led me to the sleeper cell's terminal. I, I want to follow the track from there. That's, that's, that's all I'm telling you. Alex froze. Give me the data you have. I, if it's true, I'll help you. If not, then you should stop with what you're doing. If someone is hacking sleeper cell terminals, then the people inside might be in danger. What? Are you making me your chief informant? Like, are you playing detective here? The sleeper cells aren't your business either. Besides, they're, they're filled with dead people. They're not filled with dead people. Alex shut, shouts at Bunny. She freezes. Do, 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 don't, don't shout at me. I... Me taking with me talking with you. I is the only is my only decision. Let let us keep that in mind. Okay, <clears throat> me talking with you is only my is only my own decision. Oh, wow, I can't cannot make out these words. Mm. Me talking with you is only my decision. Let's keep that in mind. She speaks in a calm voice. I like. <laughs> I, t I need. That bottom line, it needs to, like, narration marks or something, because it's like, <laughs> I read it as if it's her saying that, like, <laughs> like, you're such an idiot, I say. Bunny looks away. I'll grab you again if, if you try to kick me or run away. I <laughs> wish I was thinking. What now? I, I may have found some data, but I, I don't know whom they belong to. Oh, mm, 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 mm. anyways. <laughs> um, I could, I could perhaps make a copy if it still exists in the future, maybe. But I'd appreciate something in return. Maybe something you found out. You changed your hair. Bunny inhales and holds her breath. A few seconds pass until she f finishes processing that one sentence. Oh, yeah. What color were they before? Pink. Bum, bum, bum. My, my head hurts from arguing, but I can still think straight. How do you know? I work for the Central Authority. Couldn't you tell from my accent? Bunny turns pale. You're insane. This is important to me. Give me the data which led you to the sleeper cell. Mask. Yes. What are the chances that he'll use this as evidence and we end up in jail? The odds are 27 to 1 that this is a trap. Bunny silently looks at Alex in the eyes. What's your name? Bunny giggles. <laughs> That's asking too much. Not part of the deal. Call me Bunny. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Bunny takes a deep breath and runs outside while throwing the memory card at Alex. She runs out into the street and heads towards the park. <laughs>